About 20 plus years ago, my cousin suggested I plant a few snowdrops down here in the bottom of the field. This is the field that the daffodils are in. So the daffodils are all slowly coming up, you can see. Here's the sheep with their new bale of hay I just gave them. What's so wonderful is, my cousin said, put a few snowdrops somewhere where you don't think they'll work. And I didn't think they'd work here, and they did. And I'm now dividing them up. And I'm basically doing this little bit of film to document that this area is completely naked of snowdrops, but I've planted a whole series of batches I'm spreading these out, so dividing each clump up and planting single bulb snowdrops. And you can see what I did last year or the year before. That must be two years ago, those snowdrops. Then these snowdrops through here, you can see a daffodil is blooming. And all through there, I planted snowdrops, divided and planted them up. So this is year three. And I'm hoping in another two or three years, this, what's looking naked of snowdrops, except for the ones that I planted over 20 years ago. These were like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's other ones clumps that I've dug up over the years, over the last few years, and spread. This is where one clump was that I dug up last year, and these snowdrops have come back from where that clump is. So this is um, another clump that I've dug. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clumps left to spread out over this whole area, and it will really look lovely when um, the, um, they all start blooming in a big way. That's a clump that I must have done um, a little while ago, that little clump there. Anyway, I'm planting them all around here and behind me over there. The road is just behind me and I'm being sung to by a robin. <laughs> the robin is singing to me because of my digging I'm disturbing worms so basically I'm hoping to video again in let's say four or five years oh look who's coming to join me hey kitty how are you kitty kitty yeah I'm talking to you how are you you can see him walking through the single snowdrops that I planted last year or the year before. So if I do this video again in five years time, hopefully this area will be full of snowdrops. At least that's the plan. Isn't that right? That's the plan. That's the plan. Yes. And I must say, this is absolutely my most favorite tool. I am loving this tool. It is making transplanting snowdrops so much easier and fun. What I used to do is take this fork and stab it into the ground and I would plant two bulbs, one here and one here in those holes. But nope, now I have this and I can just, and it's making transplanting so much more fun. Over time, I hope to also plant crocuses all in and out of these snowdrops, which will really make it look lovely.